Easy peasy, we are recording, so here we go. <clears throat> All right, hello everyone, and thank you for joining us on another episode of Coffee with Coaches, the podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today with me I have Adana Austin. Adana is a business coach and marketing consultant from Trinidad and Tobago. She works with entrepreneurs to develop a winning mindset to run their business, develop smart goals, identify their ideal clients, and develop strategies to generate revenue and grow their business. Adana, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. I'm really glad to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Question number one, Adana, why did you become a coach? Well, I became a coach because I wanted to help people. I come from a long line of entrepreneurs. I have a lot of entrepreneurs in my family. So having business was always a part of what, you know, drove me. And I've been doing marketing and PR for a number of years. But in 2015, I recognized that my clients were asking for a different level of support. And I didn't know what that was at the time. So I did my research. I found out about coaching. I myself went to school and got my accreditation. And then I became a coach. But I became a coach because I wanted to be able to help other entrepreneurs in a more dynamic way. Nice. I love it. That's a great answer. Question number two. What are you doing in your coaching business today that's unique? I wouldn't, I wouldn't particularly say it's unique, but what I've been doing is I've been shifting how I coach I am moving away from that one-to-one model because Mm -hmm. obviously it's not the most sustainable model so I'm moving away from that model and I am actually promoting more of my digital products so I'm giving my audience and I think it's a great thing because it gives my audience multiple ways to actually learn from me as opposed Mm -hmm. to the one-on-one right I'm still doing one-on-one but I'm shifting my business more like 60% digital products and 40% one-on-one nice question number three where do you find your clients I find my clients, a lot of them is by word of mouth. And then the other, the other is really through social media because I'm very, very active on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. I do a lot of podcasts, mm-hmm. <laughs> interviews and stuff. So people hear about me and are drawn to me through those, those channels. Nice. Nice. Question number four. What is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? I think the biggest challenge I face and a lot of entrepreneurs face is just that mindset, making sure that you always have that positive and success mindset because we're human, right? And there are going to be days that are tougher than others, months even that are tougher than others. And just, just maintaining that mindset of positivity and success and abundance that has always, I wouldn't say a challenge, but it's something that I'm always working on. Yeah. It's a practice. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> for sure definitely <laughs> i sympathize with that uh, question number five if you had a do-over in your coaching business what would that be i think that i would get a coach earlier mm-hmm. i got a coach at the beginning but i think that i would have maintained having a coach because i i usually would have a coach and then take a break and then you know mm-hmm. then get another coach but i think that i would have had a coach more um um, you know, to help um, grow much faster. Yeah, I love that. I always like when people on this podcast eat their own dog food, right? When when the, when yes. the coaches themselves have coaches, it shows yes, that they, they believe, in, believe in the work. <laughs> of course, definitely. Awesome. And for our bonus question, what is one book that you recommend all your clients read? Wow. <laughs> That's a good one. I think a good book that I recommend all my clients read, besides Think and Grow Rich, which I think is the go-to kind of book for everybody, I'm actually reading a book. Well, it's not like a book book, but it's like a wood book. So it's really kind of breaking stuff down by Akila Thompson right now. And it's really just breaking down all the SEO, all the things behind the scenes of business. Mm-hmm. that people need to know <laughs> because mm-hmm. we tend to you know we tend to focus on the pretty parts of it the front end part of it and yeah. she really dives into the seo and you know your blogging and your website and how to bring all of those things together so that you really optimize your business and what's the name of that book i can't remember the name of the book <laughs> <laughs> i can't really remember what is by akila thoms <laughs> i can't Tom. remember it okay. yeah we'll, yeah we'll, it's we'll a work, it's a book and a workbook yeah 
Interesting. We'll get that added to the show notes. I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll look it up. It's added there. Yes. That's great. Donna, thank you so much for joining us. Is there anything else that you'd like to add or pitch or promote and where can people connect with you online? So as I said, people can connect with me on social media, Facebook. I'm Coach Adana Austin on Instagram as well. Coach Adana Austin, LinkedIn, Adana Austin. My business name is actually Marketing Dynamics Business Solutions. So mm -hmm. if you Google that, you will find my website, my podcast, my blog, <laughs> the whole shebang That's that fine. you can find. But I'm all over social media. And yeah, I have a lot of different platforms. And I also have a very active Facebook group of over 4,000 entrepreneurs from around the world. And uh, we really support each other and share valuable information every single day about how people can grow their business and different tools and strategies they, they should be using. So it's a very, very active group. So I think there's like the number one place. It's called Dynamic Business Strategists. Love it. Love it. Easy. Awesome. Adana Austin, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Coffee with Coaches podcast. It's my pleasure. And thank you to our audience for tuning in. We will see you guys all next time. Cheers.